Young Scott in partnership with NHS Health Scotland, Toonspeak and the Royal Pharmaceutical Society presents What Happens When You Visit a Pharmacy? Hi, hi, it's just the end of this. Oh, you can tell how long it'll take. You've got 15 minutes trying to get caught. Is it alright if I come back later? Yeah, that's absolutely fine. I'll just get caught back. Cover it. If you're in holiday, yeah, you can drown out your tablets or something like that. It depends where you're going. It's just pop straight in there. No problem. Yeah, if you're in Scotland, what to do is just take an old packet or a or a form and that will really pop into your the local pharmacy there and they should be able to give you care to supply. Mean, but if you're worried about running out of them, then go and see your GP first and you can pull over the tube and have to take you. That's brilliant. Okay. Right, thanks very much. Bye bye. What services are available? The services that young people can access at a pharmacy um, are quite varied and, and wide. Um, they can access advice um, just on any sort of minor ailments that they might have, um, it, such as hay fever, things like that. Um, or if they have a prescription, they can get advice on the medication that the doctor's prescribed for them. Um, they can get advice on sexual health, they can get advice on contraception, we can um, issue them one and after pill if that's something that they think they might need um, and also advice can be given on these things. Uh, they can pop in whenever they like and they can access the services either over the counter or it can be done privately in a consultation area. Private consultations um, can take place in the pharmacy and they can happen for a number of reasons. Um, either the pharmacist feels that the, the the issue that the, pa the person wants to discuss is quite sensitive um, or the patient can request a private consultation um, or perhaps it might just be the pharmacy's really busy. Hi, can you have a present? Hi, uh, um, I've got really bad hay fever. Right. Is it good? Sure. What are your symptoms? I've got the itchiest eyes I've ever had. Mm -hmm. My nose doesn't stop burning and I can't stop sneezing. Okay, no problem. What are your symptoms that you've got? No, that's it. And when the captain's when the sun comes out, it's easier. That sounds a bit like hay fever. Um, that's fine. How old are you? 17. Right, that's fine. What we can do is because you're under 18, you qualify for the minor health service. Means you can actually prescribe something for you. So we'll have to do that. Okay. Um, all I just need to do is take some details off it and get you registered and see that then yeah. you get something that comes out. Okay. Thanks. What is the minor ailment scheme? The minor ailment scheme that's run from pharmacies um, allows young people and people who are claiming benefits to access um, over-the-counter medication and advice from the pharmacist uh, without actually having to go and see their GP and without having to pay for it. So what it means is the person um, who has a problem comes into the pharmacy, they'll have a consultation with the pharmacist, which can be done in private or over the counter. Um, the pharmacist will then decide what the best treatment is for them, and that could be just to tell them how to treat the, the problem at home. Um, they might think they need to see a doctor or a nurse and refer them on to that person, or they may provide them with an over-the-counter product to treat, to treat the problem and they write a prescription out if they do think a treatment is required and the person doesn't have to pay for it. Do you want it? Or you go? No, just go. Hi, I'm here to see somebody about the mom and after culture, no problem. Would you like to go into the constitution of the other person but not private? Uh, aye, that's fine, it's just a long time. Is that you here? Thank you. And then we'll run through the questions that are on it for today and then we'll just check it's suitable for you and then we'll get the emergency line made up to take away with you. Okay? How old do you need to be to get emergency contraception? To access emergency contraception, um, in some areas the age is actually 13 and above, some areas are 16 and above. So what it's best to do is to pop in, speak to your pharmacist and find out um, if you can access the service. The pharmacist will then assess you and make sure that it's suitable for you to take um, and explain a bit about what it is that you're actually taking, how it works and things like that. And um, then you should, if, it, if it's suitable, you would get the, the sort of contraceptive uh, supplied to you from there with, with some advice and information to take away with you. 
Um, but the best thing to do is actually to pop in and speak to your pharmacist about it you know, so they can give you the best advice available. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your help. That's no problem. And just remember if you've got any problems, I'm just checking out. You can either give us a call or just pop back in to see us. Just get that made up. Okay. So thank you. We keep it zipped. We provide a confidential service to all young people. NHS staff will always ask first before sharing information you have given them. But if they think you or someone else is at serious risk of harm, they may have to share information with other people without your permission. Before doing this, they will always try to talk to you about it first. For more information, visit youngscot.org. The end, with thanks to NHS Health Scotland, Toonspeak, Lloyd's Pharmacy and the Royal Pharmaceutical Society.